What is normal in your country, but weird in the rest of the world? Eating horse meat. Drinking tea at 40C. Learning three languages from the first or third grade. Speaking two languages. While some cannot speak another language without using words from another language, some people study for five languages in schools from the age of 12, 13. And as far as I know, my 10-year-old brother is studying for five languages in the fifth grade. I'm not terrified. For the entire time of the country, only to presidents of change. Still can't guess. Bore it. Ulsura Slana Sarjivna. Obsessively buying the worst coffee in existence. Somehow making a terrible chain the most popular coffee shop in the country. Also buying into them being the essence of your country's heritage. Despite being owned by an American multinational. That is in turn owned by a giant Brazilian private equity fund. But hey. Ads that feature kids playing hockey on Saturday morning. Congratulating people with other people's birthday. Example if I arrive somewhere for the birthday of my friend Sam. Their friends and family will be seated in a big circle. I will go around the circle and have to shake hands and or give three kisses to every friend uncle. Aunt grandparent parent neighbor while congratulating them with Sam's birthday. I would say that the weirdest thing in my country is the admiration of extreme political ideas like C-O-M-N-U-N-I-S-M or fascism by a not so small part of society. Another weird thing is their tendency to avoid laws, paying taxes working, or doing anything productive at all costs, and at the very end we question ourselves why we are ten years on debt. One nose kissing to native privilege. Three people still living with family until they're married or living with their extended family. For not marrying foreigners, it's a preservation thing, not a racism thing. Five family taking care of you, especially if you are a woman. It's acceptable if you don't work. I learned recently that one thing that is a dead giveaway that you are an American is leaning against things. The podcast I was listening to was talking to a former FBI spy hunter, and he said it's a habit FBI CIA academies have to break their agents of before they can do any work outside the USA. Doing everything by bicycle. Transporting our Christmas tree. Transporting my partner, we're both 60 years old going to a funeral, going to a Michelin-starred restaurant. All things I've done the last few years, and no one it thinks that's strange. People strapped in random grocery stores, employers legally allowed to pay less than minimum wage, and then demanding customers tip to accommodate their employees' lack of income, dying because you can't afford a basic medical procedure. There's a lot. In Brazil, touching people is more or less normal, hugging job colleagues, or simply being physical. As far as I know, that might put you in jail in some places, namely USA. There are those who oppose it, but it's generally understood as a normal thing. Dropping our kids somewhere in a forest in the middle of the night and telling to find a way home. For fun. Also letting our kids ride their bicycle without helmet. When they fall, we say da word jihad van, and I think that's beautiful. Paying $90,000 to build a garage for your vehicle, just so you do not have to scrape your windshield for four months in the winter. After a few years you don't park in the garage because you use it for storage. Canada. Pineapple on pizza. Robertson Square Drive screws screwdrivers. Cheering on and selling out the pro team of our national game in our largest city. That hasn't won. The championship for 57 years. Everything talks. Trucks warn you to be careful when making a turn. Tending machines start playing music when you walk past. Your bathroom informs you when the bath water is ready. During workday sitting and making your sandwiches at a long table with all your colleagues. The company pays for the bread and toppings. But you've got to make them yourself. Setting up a table in front of your house. Inviting your neighbors for a good drinking session as a mild typhoon cuts off power and floods. Our streets to the waste. Constant ads on public TV for pharmaceuticals to help a man get a boner. The absolutely zero women's nipples allowed on public TV if the show isn't a documentary. Going into six figure debt as a teenager because every prominent adult figure in your life has told you that higher education is the only path to success. Twelve meals on Christmas Eve, no meat, no dairy. You can eat fish 
and everything else is pretty much vegetarian vegan that day. Also last pagans of Europe, having a 60C difference throughout the year, going from 30C to 30C on extremes this can reach 4040 which are the same in both CF. Freedom, edit I'm hoping the down votes huff from MAGA people that realize I'm being sarcastic, but I highly doubt they are that smart. Living below sea level and not think anything of it, yet calling people living in earthquake, tornado or volcano areas brave or stupid. In Texas it is normal to see a pickup truck with fake testicles dangling under the license plate. Rednecks are interesting like that, whipping women and girls on Easter and expecting chocolate, money, or a shot of something for that. Also pouring water on them. Being terrified of an ambulance ride bankrupting you. More than fearing whatever it is that would necessitate an ambulance. The fact that a snake venom treatment will cost you couple of hundred thousand dollars. Or you know, calling the ambulance. Teens of homeless guys directing traffic at intersections when the robots are down. Also, calling traffic lights, robots. Looking at someone embrace another people's culture and thinking I must ridicule them for appropriating that culture. Being in a mask and then five minutes later go drink some alcohol also calling your daughter granddaughter sun sign. Not getting vacations. Maybe that's more true in Europe than universally but for a western nation it's sort of weird. Washing your ass. I'll never wrap my head around the fact that so many first world countries don't use bidets. Talking about food the whole time and calling people who don't think food is the best thing on. Earth derange. In Australia, we walk barefoot. Everywhere. No. Seriously. Sidewalk grass, highway, it doesn't matter. The health care system being a for-profit industry and government sanction immigration of non-citizens, washing machines in the kitchen. Apparently other countries put theirs in the bathroom or utility room. Buying a pair of thongs for your five-year-old daughter. Flip-flops are called tongs in Australia. Young people in military uniforms with guns walking around and no one sparing them a second glance. School shootings, mass shootings, medical debt just from giving birth, wearing shoes in sigh, US, standing on the right side of the escalator so people who are in a hurry can pass on the left one, demanding tips for literally everything and being judged as a greedy cheapskate for not tipping, be a thief, here the president is an ex-convict and there are people praising him to this day, fresh, room temperature cheese being sold in gas stations in a little basket by the register. It isn't illegal if you get caught with ecstasy as long as it is within a certain amount. Apparently eating horse, pigeon and rabbit is seen as weird. It's really good meat though. Telling someone they have solo skin is a compliment here. Everywhere else not so much. Apparently ice water and free public bathrooms aren't a thing in Europe, which is insane. Lending your friend a rubber in primary school. Erasers are called rubbers in the UK. Critters having funny names like Spready Mercury. Snow Connery Eye Sweeper Willie. If I want to know my co-workers' wages, I can simply ask the tax office and get it. Leaving babies outside. Unattended. In freezing weather to sleep in their prams. Driving 180 kilometers h. And then somehow a Volkswagen Beetle takes you over at 300 kilometers h. Portugal here. Many people in my country eat snails. I'm always disgusted by it. Guns. Guns everywhere. That it's some kind of representation of freedom. The pledge of allegiance to the American flag. It's very, very bizarre. Seeing your family naked. In Finland it's common we go sauna together. Getting naked with strangers and sweating together in public places. Having dinner around 9pm or 10 and going to bed a few hours later. Judges, barristers etc in wigs. The state opening of parliament. We brew coffee through a piece of cloth that looks like a sock. Flying the national flag is a sign you're probably a racist. In Uck we still eat like the Germans are still flying overhead. Congratulate everybody present when it is somebody's birthday. 20 year old walking around with them 16s and no one bats an eye. Dressing up in a way that Americans would see as blackface. Playing the national anthem before every sporting event. We have public beeps to use freely in parks and beaches. There is nothing normal going on in the United States. Drinking hot coffee out of a plastic bag with a straw. It is legal for a 55 wide. Dot ho. 
to have sex with a 14Y. Oh, Christmas starts at September in the Philippines, according to YouTube eating really salty licorice.